YouTube, this is the King Dragon Blade. I'm going to be remaking the ra uh, revamped version of my dinosaurs today, and I will be taking down the old video that you saw of my dinosaurs. So I'm going to just jump straight into it. Uh, some things have changed, obviously. I got the uh, Foolish Burial Goods, so that'll be the first thing that's changed, and then the rest of it might look the same. Uh, two Ultimate Conduct Tyranno. Love this card. It's just too good. Three Raptor. Three over uh, Soul Eating Over Raptor is the way to go. He is your searcher. He is your foolish burial. Two Megalo Smasher X. Uh, one Dorgon because it's searchable. One Tyranno Infinity because it's searchable. One Dracilio because it's your only tuner that you need to run. Two giant Rex because you run gold sarcophagus to special summon one of them right off the bat. The babies that you run is one petite Aranodon and three baby Sarasaurus. Uh, again, uh, you shouldn't run more than one of him. He gets cloggy. And I don't run the True King engine anymore. One miscellaneous source. These are the hand traps. That's the last dinosaur you play. Now the hand traps that you use with the double evolution pill, we've got Max C. Effect Veiler, and two Droll and Lockbird. They're all easy sends to the graveyard, and uh, again, it's really just for double evolution pill. Speaking of which, now we're going to go to the spell cards. Double evolution pill, you banish a non-dinosaur monster and a dinosaur monster from your hand or graveyard, and special summon one from your deck, ignoring the summoning conditions. So that's a free ultimate Tyranno. Two Foolish Burial with Goods, or Two Foolish Burial Goods, rather. Uh, you use these to send your trap card, uh, Survival's End, to the graveyard. That's really the only reason that it's there, and that's why I run it. Two Lost World, um, start giving them tokens, start making them only target the tokens, and start setting up your plays, even though it's a little slow. Regeki, no explanation. Three fossil digs, because you want to see over your after and miscellaneous horse as much as possible. Two terraforming, so you can see your field spell more. Two twin twister, to get rid of an annoying back row. And gold sarcophagus, uh, first turn. Big Rex is always nice. Okay, and then we've got the trap cards. Two survival's end. This is what you send off of foolish burial goods, so it can trigger in the graveyard. And then we play only one of one Storm and Mirror Force, one Recall, and one Warning. This is basically my strike until I get another one. But it does the same thing, just you don't have to pay life points, and it does negate and destroy the monster, but your opponent draws a card afterward. It's a little nifty. Then for the extra deck, we have three Dr Egg tokens. Those are the ones that you summon off the field spell. They aren't really that great looking, but oh well. Alright, then we have Link Monsters, we have a Decode Talker, a Trigate Wizard, Mrs. Radiant, uh, the one that I ended up swapping for Ib, and a Proxy Dragon. Those are the ones that just really need to run. Um, Decode Talker is easy to make, uh, so is Trigate Wizard. Uh, she is probably the easiest to make, because you have the babies, which are Earth, and you have the... Um, Big Rex. Big Rex is also Earth. We have two level 5 synchros. We have Armadis and we have High Speed Roid Chimbara. Uh, OTKs and just free swings. It's really that it's there for. One Trisha look as you can make her. It's just optional. One Bahamut Shark. One Treat Toad because again it's optional. You don't need to have it on the field but it's nice to have negation. So we have Dolkas and we have Logias. Make Logia a lot. I don't really see the need for Dolka unless I need to negate multiple monster effects. Then we have one Arc and one Castell, just to get rid of annoying, uh, problematic monsters or cards. Anyway, card of the night is Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This is 13 Dragon Blade signing off.